have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey guys, so jumping right into it, I did my foundation, eyebrows, and I primed and set my lids. I um, I'm just putting petroleum jelly on my lips. Good. I need to moisturize. So going into my Morphe palette, I was pissed off, to say the least. Because every day, I swear to God, a freaking eyeshadow falls out. Anyway, I'm taking this yellowy shade as my transition shade. Um, It's a dupe for Makeup Geek's Chickadee. And I'm putting it as my in my transition, like I said. And I'm kind of blending it more towards the inner brow bone than usual. And I use my Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Now I'm taking the shade Buttery from the self-made palette from Anastasia as my brow bone uh, highlight, I guess. And that nicely um, allows the yellow shade to diffuse outward. Now for the lid color, I'm taking the shade Cool Gray, leaving the inner corner blank. Um, and I'm patting it on with a eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. Um, I'm kind of pushing it into the lid and pulling down as well so that I don't have to pull out my lid. Um, because if you tug on your lid too much, it could cause premature aging and like wrinkles and you don't want that shape. So now I'm just kind of blending out the edge of that with an Anastasia blending brush that came in the palette. I don't know. Um, and then on top of that like in between the yellow and the gray i'm taking the shade light brown from the lorac to pro palette this nicely transitions those two shades into each other and i'm also i went back in with that yellow to brighten up the yellow so it didn't get lost underneath the brown and to further the blending process thank you no but for real like you if you think you're done blending you're not just keep blending girl i promise you will not regret it so for the inner corner i'm taking the shade white and cream from the lorac pro palette um looking back at it i wish i took a base so that the white could be a little bit more stark and stand out a little bit better but I don't know. If you want to do that, a good white base would be um, Milk from NYX. It's a jumbo pencil. Um, it's not too expensive. So, yeah. Now I'm just touching up the gray. And I touched up the white a little bit. And I just used the Anastasia double-ended brush for both of those things. So now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to basically mimic the... Um, lid like I usually do um you could do it more precise I'm just smoking it out a little bit nothing too crazy um using the blending brush as well first I took the yellow shade and then I took the brown shade to deepen it up a little bit and I put the brown shade a little bit closer to the lash line than the yellow I don't know you might think I'm crazy because I use the same brush and there was no precision in this but I did. <laughs> so anyway, I'm taking this Urban Decay flat shader brush to tight line, not tight line, but just run that cool gray shade tightly on my lower lash line. You know what I'm saying? And then I took the same blending brush once again and blended it all out to make it nice and smoky. And sorry if I look like I'm lip singing sometimes, because I'm just listening to my girl's fifth harmony. Anyway, so now we're going to line our lids. Yes, the best part. I'm taking my e.l.f. Small Smudge Brush, sprayed it with some setting spray, and I'm taking the shade Hot Chocolate from the Anastasia Self-Made Palette. I love this color. It's literally my favorite color on earth. Um, I thought it looked really pretty. You could do a traditional black wing. You could do purple. Whatever floats your boat. I just thought this brown looked super super pretty and it complimented the look very much um i guess you could say i did the body of the wing a bit thicker than i usually do and tapered the actual wing part out 
a bit more. So, it's thick and then it's super thin. Kind of like your waist, girl. <laughs> Just kidding. But, yeah. I thought it looked pretty. So, yeah. And then I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. I just took this, like, mustardy yellowish color. It looked brighter on camera, but it's from the Shawnee Remix palette. And I basically just, um, lined underneath my line. I thought it gave a really pretty extra pop of color. Now I'm just setting my foundation with a color from the Shawnee Contour palette. And just a random brush. I don't know where it's from. It's not real techniques, although it does look like that. I don't know. Then I'm taking my Sheer Cover Natural Bristles, not fucking go boar hair like I said in my favorites video, and I took my Cocoa Contour Kit and contoured, as per usual. And then I took that shade we used in our lids, mixed with a little bit more of an orangey shade, and used it as our blush. And I used their Real Techniques blush brush and then kind of blended it out with a stipple brush from e.l.f. Now I'm taking the shade Girl Meets Pearl highlighter from Benefits as a cream base for my So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia. And I blended that out with a stipple brush from e.l.f. And then I applied So Hollywood with a concealer brush from e.l.f. And then for my lips, I used the shade Ever Lip Liner. And my mom decided to join the party. I don't think she realized I was um, filming. And then I also used the shade Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild. It's one of their matte lipsticks, which are absolutely amazing. And they're like three bucks at basically any drugstore. And then I mattified it with a NYX HD setting powder. Um, if you decide to do that, I highly recommend putting a tissue on your lips and then applying powder. Because you'll see that I had to clean up my lips. Because for whatever reason, that brush like spread out the lip color when I was mattifying it but this is the final look you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye okay you guys so this is the final look I'm so happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well um if so give me a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to me if you want more of me um follow my instagram if you're interested in seeing everyday makeup looks and stuff like that um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye look at my little babies look at my babies belly and bobo my babies sick that is a prime excuse why I couldn't make my bed.